Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. So uh, it's Heresy Thursday, and this is a strange one because this is kind of getting into uh, what may start happening with Horus Heresy, which is, it, it's kind of an odd duck, if you would, right? Because this is the first release that they've done that isn't a Legion release. Uh, and it's also models that you can blatantly just use in 40k that I'm sure that, again, like this is an assassin that's been released. Uh, that there's going to be new rules for this model in 40k. Uh, and it, it's just that expansion of horse heresy where originally it was like, no, we're just going to do the legions, right? And it kind of like expanded out to be, well, like obviously many groups took part in the horse heresy. But it was like, no, we're going to focus on the legions. And it was kind of like, okay, well, we'll include the Mechanicum. It's like, okay, we'll include some humans. Okay, we'll include the custodies. Like, it, it, it's just moved out. Which I think is, again, like, that's more realistic. Like, there's a, everything Imperium was involved in the Horse Heresy. Uh, but it's funny when they're going to start doing, like, the Horse Heresy Thursday release as a non-legion model. Because uh, I think this just opens it up to they're going to start doing this more and more because uh, the long-term plan for Horse Heresy, like with Praetors and characters, like I like that they're doing the releases. It's keeping people involved in it, which is great. Uh, but this is funny because this is more like, well, I guess, right? Like I guess this is a Horse Heresy release. This really could have just been a 40K release, but regardless, we're going to take a quick look here. So we've got the new... Venom, 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 Assassin. Uh, so this is one of the clades where I think that it's this clade and then there's the other one who assassinates people and the name escapes me at this moment, I apologize, uh, where they do like hacking uh, to assassinate people. Like they'll plant uh, damning information on people's computers or have... Uh, you know, an automated machine breaks and falls and kills somebody. Like, it, it, their assassination is very sly, and I really like it a lot. Um, but this is the Venom. So this is obviously someone who's poisoning people. Again, it looks like a 40K model. Um, it's in line with the other assassins, but all the assassins, I think, can be used in 30K. And their suits don't really change kind of thing like the, the, when they're described in the books and the horse heresy they're pretty much the same in 40k uh like sometimes there's individual changes to the armor that the people have made but a lot of them like they always have that helmet they're always wearing that specific suit they have that sniper rifle uh but it's a cool new assassin uh i appreciate that they brought out another assassin model again there's still one more uh, that they could bring out, but it would be a tech guy, but it'd be kind of funny to have him on the field where it's like, as long as he's on the field, he gives blank bonus, right? They could still do that. Uh, I like the injectors. Um, the gauntlets are cool. Uh, the, the kind of gauntlet to leg to like groin armor is a little interesting. I, I, I kind of would have preferred a, like a chest piece armor as well, instead of just the torso being cloth. It's not cloth. It's like a mesh weave, but just not being metallic armor you can see the plugins where it looks like a shoulder pad and chest plate should have gone there but it's still a cool model uh, again the backpack lots of poison <laughs> which is exactly what this model should have uh but it, again it's a cool one-off kind of thing right but <clears throat> it's it just this is again the first horse heresy release where it's not a straight tank it's not a praetor it's not blank right so i think this opens it up to uh releasing a lot of non-legion stuff for horus heresy which is fine right like uh, it's tough because i always like that idea of it just being the legions where it's like no we're going to focus on these battles and do that but like they, they can sell a lot more stuff if they don't do that so i understand that it's branched out and that it's going to now continue to branch out into other stuff because, like, at, like I don't know if they ever would do it, but they could bring out some, like, Eldar and Orc stuff, right? Because you have to think, like, the Necrons weren't around. There, there's allusions to, like, I think the Silent King talked to some people, but that's not, there's no fights and stuff. But, uh, uh, like, the Tyranids weren't around, but they fought the, the Eldar and the Orcs extensively, 
right? You got to think back where it was like they were pretty much the only Xenos races at the time. Like, again, there was the Dark Eldar, but they did not consider them separate groups. They more or less do now where there's like the raiding Eldar and then the, the, the Eldar who live on the craft world. But uh, we'll see what the future has in store for Horse Heresy because I think that, again, with the uh, releases from Games Workshop and redoing it, uh, this has opened up the doors to have a lot more models and tell some kind of different stories than what the original concept was for horse heresy. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this model. Like it's it, for me, it's fine. Like I've gotten some of the assassin models over the years uh, and, and they're kind of fun one off things to paint or you'll read a story and have that assassin and be like, I got to get that model. Uh, but this one I, I I'm okay on. I do really like the helmet though. I could use the helmet for some, some conversions, <laughs> which maybe I will someday. But uh, uh, it's a it's a uh, okay for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of the model and what you think of this Horse Heresy Thursday release. It's very different. Uh, and do you think that with them moving in this direction, is it kind of like thumbs up? Okay, let's get some different stuff. Or is it, I wish they focused on the legions because I've kind of been hearing both sides with this one. Uh, yeah, it, it's a move in a very different direction, but it's very Games Workshop Horror Heresy kind of thing. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. I'll see everybody in the next video.